Hello everybody, today I'm going to talk about a topic related to machine translation in post-contemporary era. I'm assistant professor at Daye University and National Formosa University in the language centers. The machine translation in post-contemporary era. This article focusing on translating techniques via personal computer or laptop reports updated artificial intelligence progress before 2010 based on the interpretations and the information for field of machine translation by Yorick Wheel's books. Machine translation is scopes and limits. This paper display understandable theoretical frameworks from views of translating field workers and linguistics. Moreover, from author's practical application experience working as a translator, this research in addition introduced to current and popular software and translating system created by Systream and Google. The basic functions and characteristics created by computing assist translation are thoroughly examined and introduced. More importantly, the advantage and weakness in computational assisting procedures are investigated and revealed. The purpose of this study mainly focuses on providing an overview for what functions and what doesn't perform well in the computational linguistics. Comparing to human translation, after reading this commentary-oriented article, the reader will obtain basic concepts for definitions and explanations for diverse terminologies in machine translation field. The key word of this study is machine translation, artificial intelligence, computational linguistics. Machine translation has been a significant issue in our postmodernized world, where most everyone is able to use a computer and serve on the Internet. In fact, the field of machine translation has been developed for about 40 years. According to Yori Wills, a professor focusing on his studies for artificial intelligence and the computer processing of language and the semantic web. Therefore, there have been diverse software of machine translation can be found either in 3C, meaning computer communication and consumer electronics stores, or online web stores. For example, Systrain, S-Y-S-T-R-A-N is a type of popular software sold in the market and Google Translator belongs to a free online processor. Machine translation belongs to a type of a simultaneous translation. By imitating this system in human translator's brain, Electronic translation formats were designed from views of translating field worker and computational linguistics. There have been several process models of a simultaneous interpretation drawn by some scholars. For example, Garver in 2017, I'm sorry, Garver in 19. 76, Moser in 1978, the, com the concurrent interpretation by machine function mostly had been demonstrated by a series of process how foreign language resource input are transformed into translated language input, including step of decode and the store or design related syntactic or semantic context information. 
Among several models declaimed, it can be discovered that the electronic cognizant function of machine translation primarily are modernization, simultaneous interpretation, as well as instantaneous corresponding translating. Stronger lexical data driven and the weaker grammatical rule driven features. Hence, human being double checking for editing sentence structures, logical meanings, and uh, correcting fossilized data without following the grammatical rules are definitely needed. About the literature review, in the book of uh, Yorick Wheel in 2009, machine translation, its scope and limits, a long-term surviving system, this trend of translation by machine has been mentioned. In fact, the software SysTran has found its half decades ago by Dr. Peter Thoma in 1968, which is one of the most senior machine translation company in the world. So far, it has effectively and practically achieved an extensive translation workers for the United States Department of Defense and the European Commission. In order to know more about this updated machine translation software, when keyword title system and searching for its advertisement web page, its price and the explanation for specific function can be discovered in a second. Since there is a huge market selling translating software in our globalized world, where trans Translation and communication are frequently this prestigious and well-programmed machine translation designing industry is, in fact, a large company and currently already has about 55 employees. Most of the employed are computational experts and the computational linguistic in professional fields of computer science and language studies. According to Wills in 2009, about 60 of the sentences correctly translated from Sixtran output that full machine translation system continue to produce and which is used for rough draft translations. The rest of 40% part of machine translation contests concurrently still need human eyes to clarify them in order to obtain a clear and understandable translated context. Nevertheless, for the professional translators, having a job roughly interpreted before further editing and revising is still very valuable and needed. Naturally, translation field workers would agree to purchase it and also anticipate that more humanized tra machine translation system can be developed sooner by computational linguistics developed by upgraded the software. This size expensive software that need to be purchased and uh, exploited by significant associations such as the United Nations or the World Trade Organization. Some general translating software can be easily found in the World Wide Web. For example, the author of the article work as the postdoc translator as well as translating field workers for professors at the Department of Elect Electronic and Engineering of the National Zhongxin University in Taichung and the Department of the Library Information Science of the National Taiwan University in Taipei. The Google Translator, for example, has been applied easily uh, for translating academic theses, including professors' Chinese publications and uh, graduate students' homeworks for perspective of a field worker or and translation 
translation methodology researcher, the role of machine translation, as the author see, it cannot would be just a theoretical updated issue under the situation that we just learn the theory of translation subject instead of really apply it, really practically apply the machine translation and its softwares for creating economic worth. Indeed, it if it is applied practically and efficiently in the field of the commercial markets or academic thesis translation, it becomes a very much beneficial and productive instrument of making a life. About the advantages and the weakness of the computational assistant procedures, based on translating needs of trade companies' commercial letters, academic texts of uh, scholars' studies, the function of machine translation can be implemented in an outfit and the beneficial approach according to the author's translating experience working as a translation postdoc researcher at two universities. Although ambiguous translated tests cannot be avoided, after all, complex scholars still intend to declare its advantage. For example, as Siga and Sir mentioned, it is now widely accepted that global communication just be accessible and transferable. In a time, timely manner, it is as many languages as feasible. So nevertheless, there is still a huge space for a human being to correct a humanize for the translated output in truth necessary translation strategies and the training for how to organize accurate sequence for translated lexical items and the data output associated with pragmatics, semantic and social linguistics are needed by a professional translator. Also, this might be a long term defect of machine translation that will be never resolved. Asiga and Sir in 2006, the Turkish linguist, linguistics, the Turkish linguists have investigated the literature discussing the resolution for machine translation problem and provide sufficient reports in their study. They note that most Authors of the literature of machine translation have focused on a particular problem and the stated the limitation of their studies. First of all, Vogue, in his study titled The Automatic Translation of Idiom Translation Memory System versus Machine Translation, has mentioned the impracticability of translating idioms due to synthetic setbacks, but propose an untest and uh, questionable approach. Whereas the truth that language cannot be separated from its segment either culturally or linguistically, linguistically remain disregarded. In page 167, Translating idioms is one of the most difficult tasks for a human translator and the translation machine alike. The main problem con consists the recognition an idiom and uh, in distinguishing idiomatic from non-idiomatic usage. Recognition is difficult since many idioms can be modified and the other can be discontinuously spread over a clause. But with the help of a systematic idiom collection and the special rules, the recognition of an idiom can
candidate is always possible. The distinction between idiomatic and non-idiomatic usage is more problematic. Sometimes it can be done by means of special words that are only used in an idiom. What is more, a parallel attitude. Arnold et al. in 1995 have also interpreted for a Bob issue relative to machine translation training, which suggests a comprehensive assessment of the issue behind machine translation and the frequent misconceptions. In conclusion, for clarifying field of machine translation, two groups of scholars should be divided and defined. They are translation scholars discussing the usages and functions developed by machine translation industries and machine users as well as the practical translators implementing the developed software in the field working. On the other hand, there are the other group working as a computational linguist. Computational linguists can be defined through detail upon the involvement of linguists, computer science scientists, experts in artificial intelligence, mathematicians, logicians, cognitive scientists, cognitive psychologists, psycholinguistics, psycholinguists and anthropologists and neuroscientists. In other words, the author would like to divide the field workers by inside of industry as well as the designer and outside of the science park as well as the users. The translating task of the users and the translators are more general and common, and uh, the designing and upgrading tasks need deeper training and uh, professional knowledge in diverse fields of linguistics, social linguistics, computer science, pragmatics, and so on. Summing up, if machine translation need to be deeply and professionally interpreted, this tool of translating foreign language words can be defined from the use of computer programming, accessory greeting, accessory creating, language and uh, language generating and organizing intercultural differences, standard linguist rules, and the, the working process of utilizing it.